All right. <clears throat> Finally, after how long has it been? At least uh, a couple hundred years since we've had a, a video from story mode over here. We finally get a new one. Uh, Life Explange. True Colors, episode one and two. I have no idea about this game. I don't really play these games. I'm not really that interested in them. So I'm going into this completely blind. I have no idea what to expect. <laughs> Let's go. Thunder today via my link. Play it in the background while you watch this video. So no one told you life was gonna be this way. Mr. B, please do the, please do the clap, Mr. B. What a loss. <laughs> life is strange. True Colors. Episode 1. Life is Strange True Colors is filmed in front of a live studio Oh audience. no, you didn't like this one, you go. Oh, so we'll the see. game starts, and <gasps> I see a bus, and a young woman steps off. She looks like a moniker to me, Mr. B. No, Mr. Z. This is Alex Chen. She is our protagonist. Oh, oh she's got a big army bag. Yes. Stolen valor, Mr. B. But what is Alex doing? <laughs> well, Mr. Z, Alex is moving to a new town to live with her brother Gabe after she's just left the foster care system. The foster care system? She's been living in foster care? That's right, Mr. Z. Alex Chen was in no. the foster care system. <laughs> okay, we for get it, foster eight care. Long years. Ah, that's where you go Little when you don't have any life. parents. Alex slowly walks across the wooden bridge leading into town. This is where she's planning to meet her brother, Gabe. But she stops a moment to look at the scenery and take it all in. This beautiful town is Haven Springs, Alex's new home. And to think that none of this will be here in five years' time because of climate what change. The... It disgusts me. What oh is with the... But then someone calls out. Alex! A man rushes in and hugs her. This is Alex's brother, Gabe. But he's a little bit awkward. He says... What's the protocol for reuniting with your long lost sister after eight years? Gabe sighs, and then he looks Alex up and down. But suddenly, a blue aura starts glowing around him. An aura what that it fuck? seems only Alex can see. We then hear Is Gabe's he extra gassy? dad in a monologue. He says, She's all grown okay. up. And I miss what is wrong with the video? YouTube, are you okay? I've been such a bad brother. I wasn't there to see my little baby sister grow up. <laughs> Wait a minute, what the hell is going on, Mr. B? Well, Alex isn't just a normal girl. It turns out she has powers. Dun, dun, dun. That's right, Mr. Z, emotion powers. Alex can see people's emotions. It's like empathy, but bigger. What? So Gabe leads Alex <laughs> into town to get her settled in. Welcome to Haven. You know what? It is a very pretty fuck? game. You know, Why? I'd like that, especially if I was a lady. Why is this? Thing. You'd have to be a girl to enjoy this. What is with the Shutterstock bullshit? Have in it, in the first why are they minute, doing this? It's a game for girls. Do you know? Do you guys know why? Come on. Is it just a joke Gabe or leads what? Us into a flower shop. Is this the first official stop on the tour? Absolutely. If you follow me inside, you'll find our prize exhibit. Gabe Chen buys makeup flowers for angry girlfriend. Oh, I can't wait. It's gotten so so reviews. <laughs> Gabe leads us into the store. And there we meet a red-headed <laughs> cutie who's running the counter. Hey, Gabe. Riley, meet my sister, Alex. This is Riley. She asks Alex a weird question. What's your greatest weakness? Uh, what? It's for a college interview. We've been debating this one for days. You see, Alex, I've been helping Riley here out with her college application. And your girlfriend doesn't mind you doing that? No. Anyway, <laughs> Gabe is standing by a fridge full of flowers. What do I get for Charlotte? Do you remember how good that visual was? Like Dude, two I was thinking ago? the exact same thing. RTX on. I think it's voice activated. RTX on. <laughs> not the. You know. Not the Mac voice. Brought me flowers. No. Half as often. Mac is her boyfriend. Well, he wouldn't be Mac. Is it still on and off with you two? Sort of. More on right now, but wait five minutes and ask again. <laughs> ah, perhaps these two will romance in the future, Mr. B. I hope so, that'd be nice. Are you sure you don't want to just tell Mac about the interview? No, not yet. I'll handle it. Oh, uh, Mr. B, what does that mean? So, Riley is going off to college in a different town, but she hasn't told her boyfriend Mac <gasps> about it. But
what she's oh told me. Oh my god! Okay, Drama! Oh my god! So, is there any actual game in this game, or...? Yeah, we get to explore the flower shop while we're waiting for <laughs> Gabe. Check this out. Ooh! Huh, what's this? A garden gnome with cool sunglasses? Ooh. Now, Alex <laughs> isn't one to miss an opportunity to be just a little bit quirky, so she takes the sunglasses and puts them on the gnome's face. <laughs> Perfect. No, that's quirky. Dude, that, wow. that is so to epic zords. What? That guy's bad to the gnome. Right? I heard he won the Nobel Peace Prize. Oh, God, please stop. No problem. <laughs> this is what the game is. Just like, this Probably is what the like, gameplay oh, is. I'm just letting you know that. I'm going to murder them both. The End of story. Out. Yeah. Anyway, Gabe grabs his flowers and they head on out. Thanks. See you soon, Rai. They're so in love. It's ridiculous. <laughs> she seemed kind of indifferent. No, nah, trust me, that's what girls do when they like you, trust me. <laughs> oh no. So Gabe do not takes take Alex to the advice. marijuana dispensary where his girlfriend works. We can drop off the flowers. Let me duck in here and smooth everything out. It'll only be a minute. <laughs> when suddenly, a little boy. It's gonna be longer than a minute. It's young trust Sheldon. Me. Oh, hi there. Gabe's your brother, right? I'm Ethan. Charlotte's my mom. This little boy is Ethan, Gabe's girlfriend's son. What the fuck? He's been taking care of a kid? We've been in foster care. <laughs> <laughs> what you reading? Alex points to the comic book in Ethan's hand. What's the that twist? About? Ninth Warden. Oh, has she found the Scepter of Serenity yet? She's looking for the Scepter, but I think she'll need the Bangle of Vanishing to get to it. Comic books, right, fellas? Dude, <laughs> yeah, that's right. Hello, my fellow kids. Are you going camping? And she points towards Ethan's backpack, which is sitting on the ground. And it's full of all sorts of exploring gear. You know the mines? There are a bunch of old tunnels all around the mountains. I think I found a way into one. It's really dangerous, and I do it all the time, and I never tell Gabe or my mom about it. And oh man, I shouldn't have told you that. That's okay, kid. Have fun in the mines! <laughs> check out that record store. <laughs> Literally nice just like, <laughs> you get told this kid does like, something that sounds probably a little dangerous and you're like uh, have fun playing in traffic kid see ya bye such a great work ethic <laughs> we walk into the rocky mountain record store oh wow whoa this is like i found i found my home <laughs> <laughs> the camera pans across the store. There's all sorts of posters and merchandise for bands that we definitely wouldn't have heard of. And then Alex starts to monologue. This place reminds me of the shop Gabe and I used to go to. <laughs> He'd save up for weeks from his shitty car wash job just to buy us something to listen to. It's crazy. Here I am, years later, still waiting for my big brother in the record store. Except this time, I'm buying the record. <laughs> Imagine if you were stuck with an animal monologue like that. That's just like contemplative of all these like things that don't matter all the time. What's your minute in a monologue like? Mine's mostly just like, that was funny, you're right. <laughs> yeah, they didn't laugh, but you're right, it was funny. Mine's <laughs> mostly like, uh, uh, when's everyone else going to stop talking? Now it's your turn to talk. <laughs> Whoa. No way. There's a local radio show being run out of the record store. We can see the DJ, she's a mid-twenties girl in a beanie, and she's quirkily dancing along to whatever track she's spinning. The DJ finally notices Alex. She smiles. Bomb. Bomb. Bomb! <laughs> She's got a choker. Get out of there, Alex. You gotta get out of there. <laughs> then Alex, she smiles back. Let me ask you something, Mr. Z. Do you believe in love at first sight? Oh Bitch, my yes, god. <laughs> this DJ girl's name is Steph. But Steph's busy right now, so we'll talk to her later. Life is Strange will return after these messages. Oh my god. War. Here we go, War guys. Here we go. Changed. These fucking ads. This never ending series of proxy battles. These fucking sponsors. are doing cool ass wheelies, Mr. <laughs> B. Wow. God. And in planes and boats, yep. right? Sometimes. So get War Thunder today. Now in game four. Available on Xbox, <laughs> PC, uh, PlayStation, 
Finally, a game for them. Declare war on boredom <laughs> and small countries as well that you haven't heard Just of. And the back over like there being like shells <laughs> in Japan. If you're wondering where Alex Chin got that sweet army bag, I was the game. Yeah. If you, <laughs> yeah, Alex Chen is actually a decorated war pilot. See, look at her going now. Oh, I'm sad about things. <laughs> My bones, Mr. P. What's happening? Well, you see, Mr. Z, War Thunder has this impressive new damage X-ray view system. Whoa! Check this out. You can see him die in real time. <laughs> Looks like you've got a tumor in your tank, Mr. B. <laughs> X-ray mode is actually pretty cool. No. You can see which part's damaged. Look, my rear wheel is out. Now I'm driving slower. Both of my back treads have been taken out. I guess I'm here defenseless. Oh no, I've fallen onto my back with my... <laughs> There are over 2,500 tanks, planes, helicopters, and ships from 10 different major nations that just can't get along. <laughs> it has three new distinct modes. <laughs> Arcade, realistic, and stimulator. Not stimulator. And you can try them out with over no. 70 million players, Mr. Incredible. Z. Incredible. It's also heavily optimized to give you great FPS and 3.999K resolution. They were so what? close in <laughs> what? Were customization. So close. <laughs> Look, Mr. B, I put flames on the side of my tank to make it go faster. And don't forget, <laughs> if you join now, you get exclusive vehicle decorator stuff. Eagle of Valor. 100,000 silver lions. <laughs> and also, you can get seven days of premium content. You know, the only thing better than War Thunder, Mr. B? Getting to see my kids on the weekend. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> the tanks all play soccer with each other. <laughs> so get War Thunder today on PC, Xbox, or PlayStation using the link below. Oh my god. Mr. B, can you sing for us the theme song to War Thunder? I make them good girls go <laughs> bad. <laughs> What? I don't think that I don't think that was it though. I don't then Alex goes back to browsing records and suddenly a man grows. Sorry, this <laughs> door's actually closed right now. Wait. Are you Alex? Weirdly, he recognizes her. That's me. But how um uh, uh how did you know? Uh Gabe's been talking about you coming since forever. I'm Ryan. If she was taking that kind of body language, I would not dare. Yeah, take him yeah. yeah. no. Read the room. It, like, Read the dog, room. Its ears go back and it starts showing its teeth. Like, Here, boy. <laughs> no, it's good into the corner, little fella. <laughs> Hi, Ryan. Nice to meet you. So this blonde-haired dazzler is Gabe's friend, Ryan, and he's a little bit of a hunk. Mm. So the store is closed, but they opened it just for you. You must be picking up something pretty important yeah you could say that ryan holds up a cd it says an outdoorsman's guide to the calls of common birds <laughs> wow that's so you're a massive tryhard yes <laughs> a massive tryhard ranger I can, I'm getting my PhD in bird watching. And he pulls out some darkness. And I gotta say, I kinda like what I see. Tweet, oh my tweet. God. <laughs> no. I was thinking of getting a gift for Gabe, but. Look, Alex, if this scene goes on any longer, Mr. Z is gonna lose his mind. So Alex goes and grabs a record. And right as she's handing Ryan the money for it. Bang. The door to the studio swings open. Oh. And Steph storms out. She's on the phone. And she's looking angry. No. No way. I can't believe you're doing this no. again. Come on. It's Do weird, but it seems like this anger is rubbing off on Alex. Time I put into this? Steph starts stamping her foot, and Alex starts uh -oh. to mimic her. Uh-oh. What the hell is happening, Mr. B? Are they syncing up? Are they... <laughs> <laughs> so Alex can read people's emotions, but if they're really <laughs> strong, up. they rub off on her, and she starts to mimic them. It's like she doesn't understand that this is just regular empathy. It's just everybody else is like this normally. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's like, when they feel bad, I kind of feel bad too. <laughs> no, dude, I can't come over there. I'm working. Alex's fingers clench the counter. Ryan can sense that something's wrong because empathy is actually a fairly standard human trait. He steps in, <laughs> tries to calm Steph down. Uh, hey man, I, I can like look after the record store for a bit if you need to step out. Are you serious? I think I can handle that. You're a lifesaver. I'll be there, one sec. <sighs> it's all good now. Alex calms down. <laughs> Organizing a LARP shouldn't be this hard. 
And as Steph walks out, Gabe walks in. <sighs> Somehow I knew I'd find you in here. The random crowd Things noises. Well, Charlotte? Yep, things are all good. Oh, cool, you've met Ryan. Not only is this dude my best friend, he's the best guide to Haven you could ever find. And this dude hands me the best beers? Those were pretty good kisser. <laughs> you should catch the game later, and then afterwards, talk about girls. Gabe and Alex are about to head off, but then Ryan pulls Gabe aside. He says, Mac was in here earlier, and, uh, he really wants to talk to you. And I don't think it's about last night's football game. He knows where to find me. You know what? I reckon the it's the, not the got random to do with crowd Riley. noises are getting me. But it's got a lot to do, do with Riley. Hmm. And then Gabe and Alex head off to the bar. Back on the street, Gabe sees his not quite stepson, Ethan. He says, Not quite. Chicken. What up, Master Slayer Thanor? Hey. One week to the LARP, you stoked? Well, Kawabunga, brother, we gotta <laughs> hit the LARP. Emotion Hello, fellow feeling. kids. Stranger danger, stranger danger. So essentially, Gabe and Ethan do LARPing, which is live action role playing with Steph from the record store. And they go into a big LARP that Steph's organizing next week, which is why she was on the phone. And they're all really looking forward to it. But anyway, Gabe asks, What are you doing tonight? Mom says I'm supposed to stay at the Lantern until she gets out <clears> of <throat> work. But... I kind of want to hang out at home. Is that okay? Ethan shoots Alex a knowing look, as if to say, Uh, please don't tell Gabe that I'm going to go explore the dangerous mines by myself. Alex shows a rightfully confused look. Do you, man. <laughs> but I'm going to check that homework later tonight, though. Better be done, capiche? Oh, wow. Really laying so down the law. seeing you do the dad thing. It, dad thing? No, 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 no. No, no, I'm better than a dad. I'm like dad plus. <laughs> oh, I'm the dad that stepped up. I love how you can hear their their chairs creaking when they they have to face palm so hard that they are falling back in their chairs. Like you, <laughs> you can hear the distress in not only their voice but also the chair. That's me. Oh, man, that sucks. Well, it wouldn't be so bad if we weren't in the goddamn foster care system. <laughs> That's right, Alex. I'll look after any old kid. Anyone except my stupid yeah. sister. Do we get an answer for that? He tells me stuff he doesn't even tell Shar. So what kind of a weird flex is that? And yeah, my uh, my girlfriend's son um, tells me secrets. And it's crazy because he and I have a real big secret that we can't tell us about mine. <laughs> Wait, Ethan yeah, didn't tell Gabe so hard that he was gonna go explore the, the old chair mine? just oh no falls apart. And with that, Alex has been left with a massive moral quandary. She thinks Ethan didn't tell Gabe about going to explore the old mine. He trusted me to keep his secret. Should I, or should I blow his cover? I tell him. Obviously, you tell him. <laughs> yeah. I should probably tell you something. Shoot. Uh, he's gonna go play in a dangerous mine. Um, I don't he's gonna throw to around some dynamite, you know. At all, but I certainly don't want him dead. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. He seemed like he knew what he was doing, but yeah, I, I have no idea. I know the age difference for me. If they said it's it, I wasn't paying kid. attention. There's a dad plus moment. Shouldn't you like the dad plus moment? Stop him. Nothing for it. He's already walked away very slowly. I guess we're just gonna have to let it play out. Ooh, Ethan's in trouble. Really? Why does she Let's feel see. bad about that? I appreciate you telling me. You, you did the right thing. Anyway, enough gameplay, Alex. Why did not I show you where you'll be staying in town? So, this is what a mining town looks like. Thought there'd be more guys in overalls running around. Uh, With soot all over their faces? They don't let you do that no more. <laughs> what do they mine here, though? Wow, it's just like non-stop talking this game, huh? No, this bit's actually important. Gabe says... Uranium. They blow these big holes in the mountains and sell it off to nuclear power plants. Oh, fuck's sake. Oh. Yeah. We'll actually be able to hear a blast later tonight. It's pretty intense. There's gonna be a blast later tonight. Ooh. Oh, that'll be nice for Ethan. <laughs> so the pair head off to the, <laughs> the bar where Gabe lives and works. Fucking explodes and the way, into bits. Wouldn't you know it? We run into another Jed. Googie Gary. Hey, got someone I want you to meet. Alex, this is my buddy Jed. Buddy hell, will you listen to this horse shit? His boss, he means. 
This guy is Jed, the local friendly barkeep. With no hidden past. You own the Black Lantern. For the last 12 years or so. It's good to meet you, Alex. Heard a hell of a lot about you. Oh? No time for chit chat, Alex. We gotta scoot. Before you leave, <laughs> word of warning. Yeah, it's. Max got that old bug up his ass again. Okay, so I... it's like, what it. What was happening with the brother? Like, why was she in foster care and he was living this whole ass life? He's got a sort of kid. He's apparently dad plus. But it's like. What happened? Are they ever going to explain it? That's the question. That's the question. Why didn't he take care of his own sister? I've heard. Just, you know, eyes open. All right, enough of the introductions. Gabe leads Alex to this Black Lantern bar and through to his apartment upstairs. Whoa! Get a load of this badass apartment, Mr. Z! It's like the set of friends, Mr. B. I <laughs> the set be of Chandler. friends. Well, there's an opening now. Shit, man. Oh, dude, he's got a foosball table. Epic. And it's a little bit off center. This is all yours? Welcome to my crib. <laughs> wow, it would have been so much nicer to live here instead of in foster care. Seriously, <laughs> this is great. Why Why is everything they say feel awkward? It's the, it's the way that it's like, welcome to my house. Pause. One, two, three. It's great. One. Two, three. <laughs> Thank you. It is nice, isn't it? And the best part is, it's actually yours. I'm mostly staying at Charlotte's now. Who, please? Even the arcade machine and the snowboard? I love it. <laughs> Good. I mean it. I don't know what to say. You can say thank you. Or I'm definitely naming my first and third born children Gabriel or Gabriela. <laughs> sure thing. Well, thanks for the apartment and everything, Gabe. <laughs> What's that? Someone's knocking on the door. Just give me a sec. Yeah! Hey, Mac. This is Riley's boyfriend, Mac. He's the guy who's got a bit of a bone to pick with our Gabe. Oh, now we got our bad guy. Can I help you? Something's wrong. I read Riley's phone. <gasps> I told you to be Riley. I know you've been meeting with her behind my back. It's not what you think, Mac. You know what? I bet this guy drives a pickup truck and owns a Confederate flag. Well, you know what? I, <laughs> bet he, I bet he doesn't treat Riley very well. Oh, come on, Mac. Yes, Riley and I are super close. And yes, we talk all the time. And yes, we're meeting behind your back. But, but it's not what you think. Uh... Oh, good. Because I thought you were f***ing my girlfriend. Dude, I promise, you've got it all wrong. It's too late for that, Gabe. I'm the bad guy. I don't care how much of a dad plus you are. I'm going to fuck you up. <laughs> Max starts beating Gabe up. <sighs> He's so angry that Alex starts to mimic his anger with her empath powers. This is just like what happened with Steph before. Exactly. Alex oh runs my towards God. Mac and bang, she knocks him down. Oh my God, Alex is beating up Mac. Bang, 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 she just keeps on punching. At the risk of saying something that could be interpreted as being sexist, he is taller than her and she's de he is definitely stronger than her. Alex, stop! Stop! Gabe goes to pull Alex. Stop, Alex, uh, this is crazy. What are you doing, big guy? And in a red haze of anger, she swings around and punches Gabe in the head. Right, bro, that's gonna hurt in the morning. Max stands up and walks out of the bathroom, all bloody and bruised. He says, Whoa, she's crazy. I'm <laughs> way too good at fighting. I'm out of here, says Mac. And then he runs away. I'm so sorry. Don't worry about it. <laughs> what do you expect? I was living in the foster care system. <laughs> Look at this. All they've done is just reverse the roles of what would normally yeah. happen in real life. Alex looks down at her bloody knuckles. What has she done? Gabe opens the door. Listen, to the that bathroom feminine rage. Out. Look, you don't his understand. Face is all you don't bruised. understand. Wait, Alex. Alex. What have you done? It's fine. Gabe walks away. Oh, Alex, now you've done it. Great. 
her first afternoon in the I'm sorry. She's all the brother is fucking pissing me off. Because no offense. First of all, we don't know why, but you, di you didn't take care of her for eight years, left her in a foster care. Now all of a sudden, she she's living with you, but technically not. Her first interaction with someone coming into the place she's supposed to stay at is this angry dude that's the boyfriend of the girl you were talking to earlier. And he's all angry, implying there's cheating happening. And then starts to get angry enough to start a fight. And she, even without the whole power bullshit that's happening right now she defends you and yeah she might she may have gone a little hulkish at the end but the way he's acting afterwards is so it's so stupid like no offense dude but this is your mess she tried to help you out even if it was because of bullshit powers or whatever. Don't take it out on her because you were getting your ass kicked. And apparently can't, you know, talk your way out of it at least. Really messed it up. Oh, this haven isn't feeling so safe after all. Oh, she was punching Next hard, time yeah. On Life is Strange True Colors. Miss Chan, here at last to relieve our suspense. Guess we're an almost wet yourself kind of family. What the fuck is wrong with you? Do you know what a LARP is? Is Ethan up here? <laughs> oh right, God. This is only the halfway point of the video. We've broken this thing up like a, a <clears throat> mini series of television. It's that good. I just cannot wait to see what happens next. <laughs> you know, everyone's excited. Yes. But we have had some questions coming in from the fans because we do have had that live tweet hashtag going. Yes, that's uh, hashtag true colors the paint. with a U. The paint <laughs> um, background. Instead of an O. So. <laughs> <laughs> How did. I don't know her name. Alex. <laughs> How did Alex win that fight? That's a great question, Mr. B. Well, that's the thing is, I know she's smaller than him mm. and general physicality comes into play. Right. What I think they're forgetting, Matt Alex has emotion powers. And wicked street smarts from being, you know, an urchin or whatever. <laughs> an mm. urchin like, yeah, or whatever. Know, even though neither of us have any fighting experience, right? But if we got into a fight, Right. I know I could win because I could quite easily just turn into like a berserk mode. I could go, I could go crazy. I go really. Next crazy. question. I think we answered <laughs> that perfectly. What is that Gabe and Mac beef? You know, I really sense some tension between the two of them. Look, there is speculation that Gabe and Riley are cheating together. <gasps> but even if they are, it's like, how is that Mac's problem? Can people not be friends anymore? Is that illegal? So Gabe and Riley have been working on her interview and Mac thought they were sleeping together. This is fucking stupid. I'd kill to have even just one female friend. <laughs> yes. Signing okay. out. <laughs> Don't tell on yourself like All right, that. <laughs> episode two, right now. So from where we left off, Alex is cleaning herself up after the fight with Mac. She changes clothes and heads downstairs to the bar. On her way down, we can hear people talking. You need to take care of yourself. Got Mac patched up. Let's take a look at you now. Oh, it looks pretty nasty right about here. <laughs> <laughs> and waiting to meet her is... Who's this? Alex, you made it. Charlotte, right? This is Charlotte, Gabe's girlfriend. I'm sorry you had to see that fight. What a terrible first impression. We then hear no Ryan shit. in the background. He says to Jed, his dad. Dad, I'm taking Gabe to the station. We need a first aid kit that doesn't predate the discovery of bacteria. It's fine, I don't need to go. Well, Ryan knows what he's doing, now you just go with him. Alex, I'll be back soon, okay? And we can talk, dot, dot, dot. Okay. Anyway, Alex, while Ryan gets Gabe patched up, just, why don't uh, we sit down and okay, get to know each other? Okay, just casually leaves her again. We see a tattoo of some stars on Alex's hand. I 
love that. It's a falling star or rising. Depends on the day, I guess. Yeah, it's meant to be the North Star, so I can always find my way home, but- By the way, thanks for telling us about the mine. Ethan's not allowed up there anymore. Yeah, no problem. I hope you won't be mad at me. I do have to get going. <laughs> that freeze frame. I gotta go back to the weed store. We just got a new weed in. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry we couldn't talk longer. So glad you're here, Alex. I'm looking forward to getting to know you. Charlotte heads off and Alex takes a seat up at the bar. And then Jed pipes up. So I'm short-staffed at the moment. Gabe tells me you've worked at a restaurant before. Hint, 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 hint. You want to work a wink. shift? See if you might like it here? Sure. So what do I need to do? Just walk around and see if anyone needs anything. That gives you a great excuse to go meet all the other characters and we can pretend that this is actually a game. All right, bye. <laughs> Got it. It's really nice to have you here, Alex. Thanks. Guess I'm a server now. <laughs> well, I guess I should start with the two weirdos sitting right here. Can I get you two anything? Miss Chan, here at last to relieve our suspense. So this weird old guy in the bolo tie is Ducky. Of course. Ducky, to friends. Of course that's his name. Former entrepreneur, now retired. And this young woman is Diane. She's a geologist for the Typhon Corporation that runs all the mining here in Haven Springs, Mr. Z. Oh, must be down to earth. Fuck off. I didn't realize that... Uh, that we all knew you were coming. Yes. Gabe is generous with uh, both friendship and information. Ooh, it's that voice that you do. <laughs> you find that in this town, information talks more than cash ever could, Miss Chen. <laughs> oh, even old should tell you, Whisper. Be sure to tell your old pal, Nuggy. <laughs> Simply sing it into the wind, <laughs> and we shall get you. Diane is a geologist, recently working as a process manager for Typhon Mining. I'm glad there's another newbie around here, too. And she goes, oh, Alex, I know that you're into music, so I guess you could say, we both love rock. <laughs> Not bad. Shut up. Shut up. Anyway, Alex starts clearing up some bottles when suddenly Mac sneaks up behind her. Holy shit. Can I talk to you real quick? Hey, look, I'm sorry about all that. And also, happy almost birthday. No. <laughs> what do you want? What happened upstairs was f***ed up, right? From both of us. Look, Riley's headed over here. She's pretty heated, and I don't think it helps to recap all the gory details, you know? So you're saying you want me to lie to cover your ass? No. No, just, like, let me handle it. I don't I don't understand what they're talking like they know each other. Mm. You can do me a favor, right? Hey, you know, you're my bud. You're my best bud. <laughs> Look, she's gonna break up with me otherwise. Shit. <gasps> Uh-oh, here comes Riley now. What the f is wrong with you? Oh my god, look at your face. No, it's okay. Mac takes her hand, but she pulls Don't away. Even. What were you thinking? I mean, also, it's like, what the situation is, wouldn't she be like, hey, Riley, this random chick you literally just met that you don't know, like, what, are you going to believe her over me? Yeah. You're going to be like, I don't know what happened, man. She just went crazy. <laughs> you know what I would do? Right. If I was him? What? She beat me up. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you give a shit? <laughs> Because my boyfriend just got into a fight with him. I swear. This is it. You better have a good explanation or we're done. Ooh. It's, it's not my fault. I just wanted to talk to the guy. About what? About you. About why you guys are meeting behind my back. Okay. Also, just to be clear, at this point, Riley still has not explained to Mac why she's been meeting with Gabe or that she's going to college at all. Are you sure you don't want to just tell Mac about the interview? No, not yet. I'll handle it. So the only context Mac has is that his girl is seeing another dude in secret. So how did the fight happen? The bastard sucker punched me. <gasps> oh, see, that's what I do. He definitely started it. Oh, God. Were you there too? Sophia from Shrek asks Alex, <laughs> did you see what happened? Not Fiona <laughs> from Shrek, y'all, come on. <laughs> you lie for Mac, or will you tell me the truth? Yeah, I was there. Mac's telling you a whole lot of bullshit. <gasps> Dude, why would she not back Mac on this one? <laughs> Mac barged in. 
accused Gabe of sleeping with you. Sucker punched him and then kicked him while he was down. Riley, listen. What happened to Max's face? I did that. Oh, good. It sounds like he deserved it. She legitimately cannot maintain eye contact for more than one second. <laughs> Thanks for telling me the truth, Alex. And Riley I mean, sashays away. Wait, are you? Are we okay? I mean, I feel the eye contact thing. It's it's hard. Eye contact is hard. Okay. It's too much. Hey. Are you fucking serious? I'm so embarrassed by you right now. But are we still together? What do you think, you fucking idiot? No. <laughs> All in a day's work. Thanks, Alex. <laughs> now it's time to get back to work at the bar. But uh uh, it's the fuzz. Alex Chen? Uh. Assaulting Mac Loudon on your first day here, huh? I'm Jason Pike, the deputy sheriff. I'm gonna have to take you in for questioning. Mac assaulted Gabe. He's the one you want. <laughs> Your face. <laughs> oh, I'm only kidding. Uh, nobody's in trouble here. Right? All right, but it turns out the cap was just kidding. He's like, I'm actually a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, that's that's not as funny as you think it is. Especially for, you I'm know, right now. certain nah. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Alex then <laughs> Not the malfunctioning body cam. Oh god. Alex, right? I'm Steph. Hey. Just seeing if you need food or anything. Oh, oh no, I sense okay. romantic interest. I so. Sorry I couldn't hang out at the record store. I've got some time now, though, if you want to chat. Huh, I was meant to be meeting with Ryan. You know, that guy from the record store. They went to get first aid. <laughs> Being a hero again. Ryan's always doing that. <laughs> it's a Lucan family thing. The Lucan family? Yeah, Jed Lucan and Ryan Lucan. Jed's Ryan's dad. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah you mentioned that. <laughs> you heard about Jed's He's rescue? totally paying attention. Yeah. Jed's rescue? What does that mean? Jed's actually sort of a local hero around Haven Springs. Why? What did he do? It was a big deal. He doesn't like to brag. He saved... I can't imagine. But we're interrupted by Jed. Alex wants an earload of Haven trivia just now. Uh, well, I guess that's the story for another time, Alex. <laughs> Alex then zeroes in on the table. Oh, is that a notepad? It's character stats. Do you know what a LARP is? She's Mr. A... B, I'm loving this game. Dude, <laughs> she's a gamer just like us. She's got a D20 on her shirt, dog. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what the colors mean, but I reckon she and I would be perfect for each other. Sure. Hello, fellow I kids. I role play, right? Yep. Gabe was talking about a LARP with Ethan. Yeah, it's next week. They're coming with me. It's their first time. I'm so excited. <laughs> Would you ever want to join us sometime? Well, anyway, I should probably get back to work. Bye. So she goes over to talk to Jed. <laughs> Is there anything else you'd like me to do? Nah, the boys should be back soon. Well, speak of the devil. Gabe's How you feeling? back. The Not fucking great. the Not audience awful. thing. He I says, can't. We need to talk. I'll be on the rooftop, okay? Alex follows Gabe to the rooftop where they can talk. <laughs> the drama. Gabe's already sitting in a lawn chair looking out at the sunset over the beautiful mountains. And Alex sits down next to him. She says, Dude, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. I've only seen anger like that in someone before, and they went down a dark path. You know, when I pulled you off the Mac and you hit me, I, I was angry. I'm so sorry. Don't worry about it. Then I thought about how you took him apart, like you've done it before. Let you know a secret, Gabe. That was me at a three. You want to <laughs> see me at a ten? <laughs> if you want to see me at a ten, why don't you just keep asking questions? <laughs> in foster care fight a lot. I learned how to defend myself. But that's not all, Alex. I can tell there's something going on with you. Maybe it's time you open up. Time you open up? You literally Alex just met her in the first time in like, what, eight years? Fully. She's really gonna reveal she's an empath. All right. <laughs> Alex begins describing her powers. I know what other people are feeling. I can see these auras around them. And if they feel strongly enough, I feel it too. Alex goes and sits back down. Sure, it's not just, you know. It's not just in my head, Gabe. I promise. It's not from meds or stress, or trauma, or whatever. Although I have all of this thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
real. Dude, you have superpowers. Getting beat up and having no friends? That's a super curse, dude. I just could not entertain this conversation. Yeah, everybody feels that way. What are you talking about? <laughs> You're crazy. I think it's all in your head. You're insane. I'm here for you. Don't forget that. Oh, Gabe holds out his beer and Alex cheers him. I think everything's gonna be just fine, Mr. Z. <laughs> but the door the suddenly emotions. swings open. Oh, hey, dude, what's up? It's Ryan. Hey. Ooh, Ryan, very mm. handsome, but also sensitive. <laughs> he comes <laughs> and he's like, well, um, Gabe and I were oh, about to hang out and take our shirts off. Is that okay yeah, with no, you? No, <laughs> fuck's sake. Is Ethan up here? No, he was heading home. He was, but I haven't seen him in a while. You don't think... Maybe. Maybe he did. What is it? I think he went up to the mountains. And remember, Typhon's doing a mining blast tonight. We'll actually be able to oh, hear last shit. later tonight. Drama. It's pretty intense. And that means Ethan's gonna be right in the blast zone. If he actually did, we need to move now. I don't know. Let's did go. they say how old so she Alex, is? Alex, Gabe, and Ryan rush off to the old mine to try and find Ethan. I don't, rem when I don't remember if they ever mentioned her actual age. All right, it's night time. Only thing I remember, it's been eight years in foster care, and that was it. That's all I know. Because Ethan is out here somewhere, and Typhon is about to do a mine explosion, and Ethan is going to get caught in the danger zone. Ethan, Ethan. Gabe has a radio, and he radios into the Typhon office to try and see if they can delay the blast. He gets through and speaks to the mining company. Gabe hangs up the call and then comes back to the group. Ryan asks, "Any luck?" And touch base with the safety team up at the site. They're gonna postpone tonight's blast until we find them. Okay, great, says Ryan. That means there'll be no explosion tonight. Gabe lets out his frustration about Ethan. This kid, can you imagine the shit we would have caught from dad if we'd done anything like this? It's like, yeah, oh, man, I told Charlotte we shouldn't have got him that pickaxe for his birthday, <laughs> but well, <laughs> it was when we got him the second canary that I got a little bit suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> the canary. Ryan then comes in all sensitive like. Come on. Let's take a look around. They look around, but they can't find Ethan anywhere. But they do come up across something very curious, Mr. Z. They find a locked gate to an old mining tunnel. Alex asks, What happened here? Ah, you see, Alex, 12 years ago, there was a big it's mine 21. collapse, and okay. Jed, the bartender, was working here at the time, and he managed to save all of the Well, that kind of makes sense, because they were God. pretty chill about her yeah, that's the day Foreman Jed being in, local hero uh, Jed. working around the bar, so. Typhon closed up this site, basically bought Jed the Black Lantern. And Alex says, <laughs> Here you go. Oh, yes, Alex, there's a lot of lore in these old mines, but that's a story for another time all these delayed stories so our search for ethan continues hello ethan 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 uh oh there he is mr b alex has spotted him across the ravine and he's stuck alex calls out ethan ethan spots her and calls back alex i'm scared now ryan starts braving the big log across the ravine don't worry we're gonna get you out of here just hang on. It looks real wobbly and scary. Ethan then yells out. Oh my god, the tension. Don't! Don't, 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 don't! Ryan gives up. He's too heavy. It's no good. You shouldn't have ate that last well, donut. I guess we're just gonna have to leave Ethan over there. Shh. But Alex has an idea. What about me? Alex. Uh, are you sure? Wow, Alex, that's pretty brave. You're kind of like a hero. All right, enough lollygagging, says Ryan. He grabs a rope and he hands it to Gabe. Gabe ties himself up like an anchor so he can counterweight Alex if she falls. Alex, can you make eye contact with me? No, I'm not good with eye contact. No. Leave me alone. I'm going to tie this rope around your waist. The other end is tied around your brother. He'll use that stump as a fulcrum to feed rope your direction. Follow? No. <laughs> Alex steps up to the rickety tree bridge and starts to cross it. God, she's brave. She slowly steps across the old rickety log. She's hundreds, if not thousands of feet up right now. Do not look down, Alex. She gets to the other side. Phew, Mr. B. Ethan, he's Phew. not budging. What? What's wrong with him? Hey, Ethan? 
I'm here to help, okay? No! Get away! All right, I just need to keep him calm so he doesn't freak out. We can't stay here, Ethan. We have to. It'll <laughs> see me. If I move, it'll see me. What's gonna see you? You don't understand. Oh my God, Mr. V, what's happening? This is dumb. So, Ethan's scared of what something now? we can't see, Mr. Is Z. Is it a monster? Huh? And the only way we're gonna find out what it is hmm. is if Alex taps into his emotions. Oh. And the only way to understand is to feel what he's feeling. Alex holds her hand up and starts using, starts using a fucking empathy powers or something. I'm going into my feeling palace. Jedi mind and trick. And now she can see why he's so afraid. Okay. He's not afraid of the fall. Alex looks down into the ravine and sees two big glowing eyes and a scary mouth. Ethan thinks there's a big scary monster in the ravine. Can't let it see me. How old is he? He's ten. He's too old to believe in monsters. What? Did you <laughs> see how scary it was? Hey. <laughs> hey, I see it too, Ethan. The monster. I see it too. And I'm just as scared as you are. In fact, I'm even more afraid than you are. This is fucked up. <laughs> but Ethan, we're safe. You know why? It can't see me. Bangle of vanishing. Just like Ninth Warden. Remember, Ethan? Comic books? Comic books, am I right, fellow kids? To get to it. Fortunately, Ethan believes this horse shit. <laughs> and Alex leads him across the bridge very carefully. We did it. We got over the other side. And Alex collapses to the ground. Ah. <sighs> we did it. We saved Ethan. Good job. What an amazing first day we've had. Alex that's crazy to think about. And he gives a knowing Because it's like, they, they did two episodes. This is all her first day in this fucking town. Like, what the fuck? You did good, kid. I think we're gonna have one hell of a sibling relationship. Suddenly, a siren blare. Oh, no. What? Of course. And then, explosion. The log bridge they were just on collapses and rocks start flying down the mountainside. Remember the blast, Mr. B? But he said that they they were going to postpone it. You don't think? I do. Gabe? Gabe is hit by one of the flying no. rocks and he's knocked off into the ravine. No, not Gabe. That just came out of no... Oh, jeez, Mr. B. But remember, he's still tied up to Alex. Oh, no. His dead weight starts pulling her towards the edge. As more rocks fall down, Ryan has to make a choice. Don't do it. He cuts the rope, leaving Gabe to his fate. <gasps> Gabe is gone. Gabe, no. That's fucked up. Then fill That's fucked up. The canyon, which Gabe has fallen down. He has been smushed. I'd be more worried about the big monster down there. You see that shit before? Maybe he's okay. Alex looks down into the ravine where Gabe is now dead. And we fade to black. Next what? time on Life is Strange. What? Colors. Gabe what? was the worst bartender I've ever known. He just about wet himself. Why would they be offering you money if they didn't do anything wrong? It wasn't an accident. Something fun and distracting. Something like a LARP. What the so, fuck? So, <laughs> Mr. Z, that was a bit of a big episode. Mm -hmm. um, look, I'll just address the elephant in the room. Gabe, he's gone. He's, he's dead. Alex was just getting to know her brother again. She finally meets someone who's willing to accept her for her having crazy emotion powers. Well, I guess now Alex isn't the only one stuck between a rock and a hard place. Oh my. That's, that's a terribly insensitive joke. Wow. The fallout from this <laughs> is gonna be huge. Gabe was like a, a shining beacon of this town. He what, was like a brother to Alex. <laughs> and what is Charlotte gonna do? What is young Ethan? 
Ethan going to do now <laughs> he with our father the figure? Fucking name well, for the, the second kid. time, that's two fathers he's lost. I heard the first one got crushed by a big rock too. <laughs> you know what? I, I, I could roll the next video, but speak. This is the end of the video. Oh. So this sort of oh, needs okay. to be funny. Shout out <laughs> once again to War Thunder for sponsoring today's today's video. Make sure to check them out for free on... Is that a heckin' PC? Is that a PlayStation? An Xbox? And use my link in the pinned comment. I don't believe it's pinned at the... There it is! Or the video description to register. Those of you who are new or haven't played for six months will also receive... What the heck is that? A massive bonus <laughs> pack across all platforms? <laughs> Of bonus part. That's uh, it's too much, Mr. B. There, there's no way they're making money off that. They're just giving out premium oh vehicles, God. in game currency, and more. Eagle of Valor? I'm gonna be sick. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. Oh my God. Oh. That, that was so dramatic. That was our first fucking day there. The first, the first fucking day she was hanging out with her brother after eight years of foster care. <laughs> what the fuck? The drama. It's too much. Too much. Jesus Christ. I can't even. Yeah, that, we finally got a story mode. Um, I don't know how to feel about that one. <laughs> Their dialogue was really awkward, though. I do agree about that. The dialogue felt weird. And that was just the ones they showed. Yeah. Looking forward to the next story mode. Hopefully it doesn't take half a year or a year or two. Hopefully. <laughs>